Hi there, and welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stroman. And you know, you may not have time or money to do a big kitchen makeover, but that's okay. Doesn't we can matter. Do it. We can do something for less money that's not too time consuming. We can. Easy. We've got the technology. Quick. Yeah. And this is presented by ServiceLive.com, by the way, our one stop resource if you do need some help in home repairs or maintenance and remodeling. Boy, they got some good guys and gals 30, that come help you. Qualified who are background checked and, and they get the job done right. So let's talk about things in the kitchen. What would you say is a great fast fix? All right. So here's the deal. Okay. I want you to look at your kitchen cabinets and consider them to be. Just an outfit in your in your wardrobe, right? Ah. What can you do to gussy them up? You can either A, paint them. Mm-hmm. You can B, put new hardware on. You could put new knobs on, even a buck fifty a knob. Mm-hmm. A buck fifty to five bucks, let's say. I mean, that's that's going to give you an instant facelift. Your cabinets are going to look different. They're going to feel different. They may be actually more functional because maybe uh-huh. you don't have knobs or you've got undersized ones that don't work. That could be a great opportunity. Uh, when it comes to picking knobs... Mm-hmm. I like to stay sort of in the family of the color of the appliances, or you got to go completely counter to that. You you know, counter. Design, well, like yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> but you don't want to have like if you've got stainless appliances, gold knobs are going to look. Oh, I see what you're saying. Cheesy. Right, cheesy. Right. Uh-huh. I don't like that. So uh-huh. so either jewel tone things or matching the metal to the appliance metal works well, or even matching the color of the knob to the sink color might work, mm-hmm. too. Or so go ceramic. Could go ceramic. You know, there's all, all sorts of mm-hmm. different possibilities out what there. What about, speaking of the uh, cabinets, carving out part of the door and putting like a glass insert sure, or some kind of an opaque kind of a thing, that's rice good. paper If look. you've got recessed panel cabinets with that shaker style door where the panel kind of recedes a little bit into the door, that would be an easy thing to cut out and then replace that panel with frosted glass or clear glass if you're someone who's orderly. If you're someone yes. that has a lot of chaos behind the cabinet not door, pretty. not a good idea. Or go with the, the sandblasted glass look. That would mm-hmm. be much better. Yeah. Or what if no? What if you had no door at all? What if you went total like Again, country charm, right? Country charm is great if as long as neat. you're someone that loves to put every little thing in its place. Because that looks really cool, like all white, all yeah, white plates, and that looks nice. otherwise this kind of looks what? It looks kind of. It looks like down, 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 down farmhouse. Not not great. Yeah, not yeah, great. Not now the other thing you could do mm-hmm. is get yourself a fancier faucet. I mean that's the control panel of the kitchen. Let's face it. And when they design kitchens now, ergonomically speaking, it's always sort of like the sink is the center, and then you've got flanked on your right or left would be your dishwasher or your cooktop or your refrigerator. It's that it's that precious triangle that they always talk about. So you have easy access to all things. So that center of the of the kitchen might be really well adorned with a brand new beautiful faucet. That you know your faucet may not work well. It may be kind of flopping around. It may be you know, rotating in its space. It's not held down effectively. Again, something in the vicinity of 100 to 300 bucks is going to give you a, a nice new style, a nice or new Or what look. about the kind that are where it is hands-free? Because I love those. If you're someone like me who cooks all the time, I'll tell you what I don't like to do. Take the chicken out of the bag, put it in the pan. You're using your elbow. Then I got my chicken to... <laughs> hands. What do yeah. I do with my chicken? You it can't. feels like my hands are on fire. I don't know what to so do. So you're using your elbow to try to turn, try to to turn the it water. on. Or I, hey, I'm calling the kid. Hey, get over here. Put yeah. soap on your dad's hands and turn the water on. So if you don't want to do that, the hands-free faucet where you simply wave your hand under would be a really great option. Now, can we install, I mean, there's got to be a secret to installing your own um faucet in your kitchen sink because I'm thinking that they may not all work, right? No. You know, that's something if you're not plumber savvy, you may want to get somebody in. Like, a, you know, somebody from like Service, Service Live, Live would be great. Okay. You know, these guys and gals all do great jobs. I've, I've actually that wouldn't cost had you much experience at all. with them. They're great. It wouldn't. It would probably be about 100 bucks, something like that. And they'll save you the hassle. And yeah, you- because you're going to have to have connectors going from the faucet to the dishwasher to, you know, all into the drain and, all, you know, all that stuff. So you definitely want to. And it's tough. It's tough to navigate sometimes up underneath because there's so much going on. You've got the a disposal, disposal and, yeah. you know, uh-huh. and all the piping and, and stuff. So I would just hire somebody to do that if you mm-hmm. can you know uh hello paint what if you just do a, <laughs> an accent wall only and you just have backsplashes to deal with instantly transform the look and feel of your kitchen by just doing a coat of paint now if you already have gloss walls might i recommend that you do a little tsp first to get the grease off if there is any and kind of take down the shine if you take down the shine a little bit with some sandpaper and then wash the walls with tsp let it dry thoroughly you're going to have to just do 
maybe two coats, and you can use that one product that's primer and paint in one, mm-hmm. so you're saving yourself a ton of time, and you'll you'll be done with this thing in a couple hours. And that's a great way to change the color, the ambience, the feel. You can use the new colors of Pantone this year, mm-hmm. which is that- uh, It's a pink. It's like a pink color. I mean, it gives you a pop of color. If you don't have too much wall space, that might be some bold choice that you want to make for 2014, saying, you know what, doggone it, world, I'm not going to sit by and have <laughs> pale color walls. I'm going I'm going a little, little, little more intense. I'm kicking, I'm, gonna, it up. I'm kicking it up a notch with some new colors, right? And people are going to say, wow, you're right on the, you you're the a color winner. of the year. You're a winner. Wow. You got the color of the year. Yeah, you could easily do something like well, that. Well, we did. I mean, we painted our, before we remodeled our kitchen, we had an orange. I know you did. Well, and you have kind of an orangey red wall. I got sort of a, a burnt ready yeah, orange wall, and it fun. feels cozy like yeah. a kachina. I love if it. You will. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So we could you could paint. You can change you the could cabinets. Paint. You could change the cabinets. Of you could course. also do some lighting. Now, if you don't have task lighting, there's nothing better than task lighting in a kitchen, especially when you can isolate the two different switches, and you've got your overhead lighting, and then you've got the under counter lighting where you can really see. What you're doing, I love a bright kitchen. I just love mm-hmm. it. it. It makes me it feel makes like, you happy. Makes me feel like I'm looking at things and I'm seeing what I'm cooking, and it kind of makes the experience all that that more rich. So, if you don't want to get into wiring task lighting, you can do these strips that they sell now at the big box stores, where they, you can just literally stick them up with self adhesive mm-hmm. tape. Like it's a, it's a strip, isn't and it? And it's a strip. You yeah. wave your hand under LED lighting and it comes awesome. on. The bulbs never burn out. It looks great. Or how about these pendant light kits? I mean, you can go to the big box store and change out any kind of a light that you might already have um, with Love a pendant. It. Love it. With a, like, with, with a, a set of three pendant lights that are like maybe some kind of a decorative cute. There's no question. Like a cobalt blue uh, glass. Listen, you can't go wrong with more lighting than less in a kitchen. I think it just makes the whole room look a ton better. And then no money at all. What do you do? You rearrange your drawers. That's a Love whole it. new makeover by taking all the stuff you don't use, assigning it to a different space. And you don't got forget, you can kitchen. win $5,000 worth of appliances. $5,000? Just go to yourhomewizards.com. The fun That's continues. It. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards.